Well, I am delighted to be joined by a man who's become a British boxing legend, unquestionably. The man to my left here, the one and only, Derek War Chisora. How are you doing? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Ça va? It's been seven years since you've been on Frank Warren Queensbury show. Do you, yeah. do you remember the last one? Yeah, sorry, one second. Okay. Yeah. No. Actually, bring me one, bring me one. Right. Yeah, so seven years ago, yeah. Seven years. Um, it was Wembley Arena, and you were on the undercard of Frank Buglioni. It's, um, it's mad, it's been ups and downs. It's been, do you, like, what do you remember from that night? I'm not allowed to talk about Frank, it's in a contract. Okay. <laughs> okay, what, Buglioni or Warren? Mm, Warren. Well, let's talk about the ups and downs that you've had in your career since that. Like, as I said at the start, you've become mm, a I boxing legend. I don't, I don't see them as ups and downs. What I do you just, see them as? I just see them as life. Where are you right now in your life? Mm, I'm in Tottenham Football Stadium, <laughs> um, living life, bro, you know. You know, I see them as just, just doing what I love, fighting. You said something, I was watching your interview with Gareth A. Davis, very good interview, and you said something about your daughter's now at an age where she can Google you. Yeah. And when she Googles you, she sees you throwing tables yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. But has it dawned on you that no. she could Google you on December 4th? Um, and it might say Derek Chisora, World Heavyweight Champion. She'll, be, she'll be here. Yeah? Yeah, they come every, They come watch. It's so, that time now, they'll be here. Do you get extra motivation from that, thinking that, you know... No, it's a family affair, man. So, you know, when they were kids, you know, like, you know what, and now I realise, you know what, bring them with me. You know, um, it's, it's good for them. You know, it's a day out, it's a night out for them. You know, so I bring them with me. So, it's one of those things, man. Life, life is great, bro. Life is good, man. You know... We just have to enjoy it right now. You seem good. You you seem like in a happy place. You seem like chilled. Bro, I am the most happiest person, bro. You know, I I smoke my imaginary weed every day. You know, so I can be in cuckoo land. But I'm happy, bro. I'm just happy, f flowing with life. Let's go back to 2010. Yes, sir. Now you were meant to fight Vladimir Klitschko, mm. and. Everything could have changed, right? Because that, that was five years before Tyson Fury got, got hold of him. And he pulled out the night before. Yeah. And a lot of people thought you'd have given him an absolute nightmare had the fight gone ahead. Yeah. Do you ever like look back on that and think, oh, I'd have beaten him that night, I'd have been world champion? But I don't cry over spilled milk, bro. I don't cry about a girl who dumped me 20, <laughs> 10 years ago, bro. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, so I don't really moan and cry about, oh, if this would have done. You know, I don't do that. I just move on. There's a path. There's a reason why there's a path like this. And that's it, bro. Just go with the flow. Go with it. You've gone with the flow and you, you look, you're coming off the career best win, in my opinion, anyway. The win over Pulev. Only Joshua and um, Klitschko had beaten him. And you said afterwards, I'm, I'm done with fish and chips. I want some caviar. Now, it looks like you've got a bit of caviar. Tyson Fury. No, that, that, was, that was to Eddie. Yeah. I didn't know exactly what I was talking about, you know, but, you know, yeah, find the Gypsy King, big great fight, Tottenham, why not? As you look back on the first two fights, do you, have, you, have you ever watched them back? Now, some fighters don't, but have you ever watched those fights back? We got the honest truth with you, I have never watched any of my fights back. Never, not even like yeah, your stunning yeah, knockout wins or anything? Even my first fight, I had never watched them back. You know, I was very surprised when AJ watched his first fight back. He's, when I was in Saudi, AJ watched the fight back. The moment he's finished fighting, he's sitting in, 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 in his hotel watching the fight. He just fought. I'm like, he's good. I could not. Well, immediately I, after the fight, yeah, he was watching it back. Yeah, he was watching it back. But I can't. I don't have that, that, I don't have that grittiness of sitting back and then right now, even, even if my fights come on, I'll just like flip you off and just. Change it. I don't even want to look at myself. I'm like, oh my double. Daddy, you want to come look at this? I'm like, no. 
I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect? Out of profession all times, obey my instructions. Just defend yourself at all times. Any questions? Any questions? Let's go to work. Touch gloves. That was, uh, that was Del Boy back then. This is, this is War Chisora, and Tyson Fury is not, he's not boxed War Chisora. What's, what's the main difference, Derek? Oh, it's totally different. War Chisora don't give a fuck, man. But that's it, bro. What about Tyson Fury, then? If I just say the name Tyson Fury, what goes through your head? Nothing. Bipolar. You've said that a few times, I, I, and, and he's... He's made a comment about Derek said a few things and uh, I'm, I'm not happy with them. Maybe it's that. He's bipolar, the motherfucker. What makes you say that? Because you don't know if he's coming or going. And when you see him on, uh, on December the 3rd, when you, you're going you're gonna to see him today, are you expecting to see a, a different man to, to what you I saw was, before? I'll just call him a bipolar motherfucker. What's that? I knew you was going to take the fight. You have showed up the bodybuilder. No, no, no. Don't listen. You have showed him up. Let me say something. You have showed him. You've got so much bipolar over over ages. You've got nothing. Man's a coward. Man's a coward. And I'm just going to keep torturing him until he actually gets the balls to fight. Yeah. No, he won't. Because that's why you've stepped in. Like he said, I'm bipolar. Yes, I am. You can't chuck that at me as an offensive thing, because I am bipolar, we know that. I've got bipolar disorder. I'm what? So? You can't use it against me, I'm mentally unwell. You've got to go in there with a mental patient, not me. <laughs> it feels like you've come on, he's certainly come on. Has he gone further than what you thought he would? No, you guy, guy, listen. Guy is a great fighter, man. You know, uh... He's a good fighter. You can't, you can't, you can't take that away from him. You know, uh, he's 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 gone in a bigger hole. He's come out a bigger hole and prove everybody wrong. You know, you know, you have to take your hat off when people do good. That's it. So when we see and talk shit about him, it's unfair. But he's got bipolar though. Do you think he can box like he did last time? Because. We're eight years on, right? And the last time you, you boxed, he moved about. He was a bit more fleet of foot. He's had three fights with Deontay Wilder. He's 34, 35 years old now. Can he still, is he, can he still access that Tyson Fury? Or is he going to try and sort we, of bulldoze we, we, we never know. We don't know. What do you expect him to do in there? Be a great fight. Have you seen any vulnerabilities in his last fights? What's the final ability? I don't know. We know he's very good on his back foot. He's good at going forward. He's good at inside. He's a bully in the ring, which is good. You can only adapt yourself when you get in there with a the, with the man like that. You know. Frank Warren's on record. I know you don't want to talk about Frank, but he's, uh, he said that he believes that you will give Tyson a better fight than Anthony Joshua. What, what do you make of these comments? Tough one for you, because I know he's your boy. Anthony. Ooh. No, I, I'm not allowed to talk about, about, I'm not allowed to answer anything what Frank says. It's in the contract. What would you say to general comments that perhaps you could give Tyson Fury a better fight than Anthony Joshua? Comments that might be out there from other people, not called Frank Warren. You know, they got so much bitterness of Anthony Joshua, I don't know why. You know... It's because more he's more likable than Tyson Fury. You know, maybe this is why they got this bitterness every time they... Because every time people say Anthony Joshua and then they say Tyson Fury, so it's the bitterness of that situation, you know. It's just bitterness, you know. They, they're doing the whole... Basically, AJ and Eddie Hearn and Tufaba started the trend and then suddenly now they're here in Tottenham following AJ's footsteps. Well, so are you. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm only here because they told me this is where the fight will be. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, Who do you think the fans are going to be behind on fight night? No, no, the fans will be behind boxing. Let's all be, let's all be honest, man. Boxing, it's like, you know, there's so much shit, there's so much shit going on in the world right now that you know, people just want to release a little bit, you know, 
last time, you know, like last week on Sky Sports, you see the women's boxing was packed out. You know, mm -hmm. great crowd. You know, people just want to go to venues, to good things, and just enjoy life. You know, if there's a fo good football game on, people will buy tickets to go watch that, or they'll stay home with their friends and watch that. Rugby, you know, things like that. And I think people now realize, you know what, the days of just trying to say, you know what, no, I'm not going to go out because I want to save my money, are done. People want to just enjoy life, you know. And that's the whole point, bro. It's going it's, it's to be a good night. There was a good night in uh, the other night. Deontay Wilder returned. Um, and that's a fight that you've been linked with, a fight with Deontay Wilder. <clears throat> I just want to get your thoughts. I was trying to get that fight, but he, they said, no, I'm not on the radar. Um, they end up fighting some fat white guy. What well, hilarious that you uh, you boxed and yeah, probably and, beat. Yeah, and uh, you end up sparring. You end up fighting his sparring partner, and then beating him by pushing him, and then come out say, you know, he's, you know the anti world is very emotional. I think Tyson did damage to him. It's, it's so emotional. You say hello to the guy, he starts crying. So, what did you think after the press conference? Because he talked about, he went very deep. He was talking about Pritchard Conlon, who, who's had issues out of the ring. He got injured in the ring, and he said, like, these, these fans don't know what we go through as, as warriors. And he did break down. So I'm going to fucking ring then, ain't I? You go in the ring to get paid, motherfucker. It's a gladiator sport, bro. Don't go in the ring. You know, people, don't go, people shouldn't go in the ring if they're very emotional and if they think they're going to do damage on other people's kids. Don't do it. Just retire from boxing and just live your life. Which is the final thing I'm going to say to you. Look, after your career best win, in my opinion, against Kubrat Pulev, people are saying, why not go out on that? Because, you know, that's because a great win to go out they're pussies, that's why. Because they're pussies. Do you think you'll retire from boxing or boxing will retire you? Because often fighters don't get the choice. God, God will show me the way, bro. Trust me, man. I'll come keep, keep telling people. If you're wrong, believe me. You know, God will tell me it's time to stop, and I'll stop. Give us your prediction, then, what's going to happen December 3rd, Tottenham Stadium. Great fight. I have to win it by a knockout. Do you think so? Yeah, 100%. Have you got it in you? Yeah. And he's, look, he's been down, he's been up and down a few he's times. He's been up and down, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get him. Derek, absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thank and, you. And uh, good luck. Thank you, sir.